The main question was if it would fly, because there is no airplane of this size which have been flown in the uh, in the past. Uh, we had built a flight simulator, you know, like, like you see uh, pilots uh, doing their training, uh, for example, by airlines. We had tried uh, this simulator, and interestingly, no one of us was able to land this airplane. <laughs> we were able to fly it, but uh, when we were coming close to the runway, uh, we were either ending up on the left side in the grass, or on the right side in the grass, but never in the axis there. <laughs> and we had test pilot, we even had, uh, as, a, as advisor, a test pilot of, uh, of the NASA here uh, from, uh, from LA. He couldn't land it neither. <laughs> couldn't even sleep afterwards, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Until we understood that the airplane was functioning di differently. And we should not impose what we wanted the airplane to do, but we really had to be patient and wait to see the reaction of the airplane before trying to control it to, uh, in, in a too active way there. And I think when we understood that, uh, we started to find a way to land it, and then we were ready for the first flight. So that was about two, two and a half years ago, which led us to do these flights day and night. That was July 2010, and I think, you know, I remember a certain number of uh, things which were extraordinary in these flights. I think the, the most important one was that uh, I was able to fly. I was able to climb to 30,000 feet, and I was able to load the batteries at the same time. So more I was flying, more energy I was able to collect in this airplane. And that was unbelievable. Because normally, you always, when you fly, if you're pilots, you always have an eye on the fuel gauge because it goes down very quickly. So to see something going up, that was an incredible, incredible experience. So now we are uh, building a second airplane. And this first airplane is a test airplane, uh, but it was flying so well that we accepted the invitation to go to Brussels and to different places, Morocco last year, and, then, uh, and the, the wheel now to bring it into the US. But in parallel, we build a second airplane with which we will do the flight around the world in 2015. Uh, so, that's the, uh, I would say, that's the end goal. And interestingly, we have an airplane which is sustainable in energy, as we can fly many days, many nights. I mean, almost perpetually. And as this airplane is flying by only one pilot, of course, when you start to fly two, three, four days, the energy of the pilot becomes the, the problem. Yeah. And so we have to develop the sustainability of the pilot as well, and that's what we are working on <laughs> to, make it, uh, to make it feasible.